Cabaret Show et Gladiatorial Circus having all the trappings of le legislative infamy to be deprecated by all compostments homo sapiens. For those of us who have lived all our lives in parliament, It is a show of ignominy. It is a show of shame. And it is not something that should, that, that should be condoned by all compost mentis homo sapiens in this time and age. Members of the State House of Assembly who thought that four of their members had conducted themselves in a way and manner that amounted to misconduct, proceeded to put them in suspension, on suspension. Valid proceedings in law. Total compliance with the rules of the floor of the house. A day after, some nine honorable members proceeded to the floor of the State House of Assembly in a post haste and an arum scarum modus that had all the trappings of an interbeblish criticism, purportedly sold the impression to the world that they have impeached Mr. Speaker and some principal officers. It is important to bring two fundamental points under focal biceps and biceps here. Which two points are, at the time these nine members proceeded to engage, bestir, cocoon, maroon, and quagmire themselves in this opprobrious peregrination, that had all the trappings of legislative infamy, political rascality, and if you like, even, even legal gambadoism. Four of them had been validly suspended from the floor of the house, which meant they were complete strangers to the business on the floor of the house on that day. That vitiated their show of shenaniganism. What more? Which is even more fundamental. Let us even assume they had the numbers which they did not have. Let us even assume that the presence of those four members that were already validly suspended, who had no business being seen within the sacred precincts of parliament, did not even vitiate those proceedings the legislative authority of the house which confers sanctimony which confers every integrity of the of the parliamentary legalist homo on the proceedings of parliament the mix was not there so you can see why i said it was a cabaret show rule of law Four members have been validly suspended from the proceedings of the floor of the house. No matter what their impressions may be as to the propriety or impropriety of that suspension, the proper thing to do is to approach the court of law or seek or seek remorse from their fellow colleagues. If they don't want to do that, they approach the cut of law. Otherwise, if you take laws into your hands, like they have done, we encourage a state of anarchy and encourage a state of top seat of freedom. A complete state of political eagle piggledy Like we have witnessed on the floor of the house in the past two days. 
have, I have always subscribed to the school of thought which says that agreements and disagreements are the necessary ingredients that feeds over all, titillate, titivate, and if you like, even masturbate the democratic contrivance or machinery. Provided it is seen to be devoid of cranky ploys and political delinquence that goes to the solar plexus of the corporate existence of a nation state. It is the, it is the preponderant excrescence of the cranky ploys and political, and, and political delinquencies that characterizes the interface, the dialectical interface, between political parties is what has become deleterious to our salubrious peregrination as a democratic state. And that in itself is not only unfortunate, it is sardonic and it is lugubrious. It only shows that the Nigerian political class have learned nothing and forgotten nothing. That is basically, that is basically because electioneering political jurisprudence is not ideologically directed and driven. If politics is about service, if politics is to be played, pro bono publico, in the interest of the public, that is. It will not be characterized by political jobbery. It will not be characterized by political violence. It will not be characterized by atavistic and antediluvian proclivities. So long as the Nigerian political class so long as their primus mobilos continue to be driven by stomach democracy and bread and butter politics, then we shall continue to gyrate in this vicious circle of political iconoclasticism. I really don't know <coughs> why the situation in Kano is what is it today? I say so against the backdrop of the fact that the circumstances of the emergence of the Emir of Kano, Sanusi, Lamido Sanusi, is a very clear one. The rules for his emergence is quite diaphanous. Diaphanous to the extent that the kingmakers of the Kano Emirates in consultation with the executive governor of Kano State, he says with the constitutional onus probandi to proclaim a new emir. And as far as I'm concerned and as far as I know, that has been done. That has been done. So I would advise those who have elected to be on the other side of the, of, of the divide, to bring themselves to the reality of the fact that the Emir of Kano, Sanusi, Lamido Sanusi, is the new Emir of Kano. And if you ask me, and I said that about two, three, two, two days ago when I updated my Facebook page, that I call on the federal government to send a letter of congratulations to the Emir of Kano, Sanusi Lamido Sanusi. That the federal government has not done that yet, for me, makes me maniacally bewildered. That is where maturity lies. That is where, that is where statesmanship lies.